Today on Low Carb with Jennifer, I'm going to show you how to make this delicious low carb chicken noodle soup. But instead of carby noodles, I'm going to be using spaghetti squash. You can find the link to this full recipe down in the description below. Let's get started. So to get started with this um, chicken soup, chicken noodle soup, we're gonna use spaghetti squash for the noodles. And to make this easier to cut, I went ahead and poked um, some holes in it with a sharp knife and I microwaved it on high for five minutes. And that's just gonna let me be able to get my knife into here just a little bit easier. And you still wanna use a pretty good sharp knife to get this sliced open. See how much easier that was with microwaving it. So now we're gonna scrape this yucky stuff out of here. Get all of the seeds out. Now this one's being a kind of a pain. Get it nice and cleaned out. And just you can throw these away or I mean if you're you like spaghetti squash seeds you can roast them in the oven but I don't okay let me do the other one okay so now we are going to put some avocado oil and we're gonna and some salt and pepper and we're gonna roast these in the oven and I roast these at a really high heat I roast them at 460 degrees and it just takes not as long. It only takes 20 to 25 minutes. And they get a really nice roasted uh, flavor. So I put some avocado on there. Now I'm putting some salt on each one. And that's a lot of spaghetti squash, so you really want to season them generously. And some pepper. Now I'm going to flip them over face down and they're going to go in the oven. Okay, so while the spaghetti squash is cooking, I'm going to start making the rest of the soup. So we're going to put some olive oil in the bottom of this pot. Okay, hold on. <laughs> avocado oil. I use avocado oil because it is more resistant to heat. I'm just trained to say olive oil for some reason. So we're gonna saute the celery in the oil and the carrots. If you don't wanna use carrots, just to, if you want to cut a few uh, more carbs, please don't use carrots. And we're gonna season those with salt and pepper. Get these nice and softened. I use shredded carrots. You can use regular chopped carrots, but I had shredded carrots in my refrigerator, so that's what I decided to use. And they've been in there, and they need to be used. Okay, these are looking good, getting nice and soft, and I'm gonna add in the diced chicken thighs. These are boneless, skinless chicken thighs that I cut into chunks. I'm gonna get those starting to cook. We're gonna season with more salt and pepper. and get them all cooked. I use chicken thighs because they have more flavor. They're more keto friendly. They have more fat than the chicken breast. They're, I just think they taste better in soup. They're not so dry. They don't dry out like chicken breasts do. So we're gonna get these all cooked up. Okay, these chicken thighs are looking nice and cooked. 
so we're going to start adding in our seasonings. Ooh, it's getting steamy in here. So we've got some soy sauce. And I love soy sauce in this soup. It gives it such a different flavor than just a lot of salt would. And that was dried basil, and this is dried thyme. Almost forgot. So I'm gonna stir that. And now we're gonna add in our broth. This is some homemade broth that I made bone broth. But of course, store-bought is fine. Okay, this is looking so good. And with the addition of our spaghetti squash, it's gonna be so delicious. So when our spaghetti squash is ready, we're just gonna shred it out of the shells and put it into the pot. But right now we're just gonna let this simmer. Okay, our spaghetti squash are out of the oven and look at how roasted they got. That high heat really gives the spaghetti squash a lot of flavor. So now I'm going to use a fork and scoop out all of the strands. Oops. Oh, that's hot. Ah, it's hot. Okay, and now we're gonna use this pasta fork and we're just going to scoop it, get a big scoop of it and put it into our soup. And this was about three cups of cooked spaghetti squash. <clears throat> can get this out of the way. We're gonna bring our soup back over and get it all stirred up. It looks so good. The spaghetti squash really thickened it up. Let's taste it and make sure it doesn't need any more seasoning. Ooh, that's perfect. Okay, now we're gonna ladle some of this into a bowl. That looks so good. And it's so filling with the chicken thighs and all of the vegetables. And the soy sauce gives it so much flavor. Okay. Oops. Now I'm going to cut some scallions to go on top. Sprinkle those on top. And here it is, a low carb soup or keto soup that will fill you up, keep you warm this winter. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please like or share or subscribe or if you're on Facebook or YouTube or wherever you're at. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.